Hello everybody, welcome back to the Blind Press YouTube channel and before we get into today's video I would like to apologize for the low audio in the last couple of videos. Apparently QuickTime decided to not capture the snowball and decided to capture the webcam microphone. So that is my bad. I have since fixed the error and hopefully the audio sounds better. Now Today's video is going to be a movie review of Evil Dead Rise, and I am not going to spoil it because this movie just came out last month, and so uh, I would like to give people a chance to actually watch it for themselves, but I thought that I would give my opinion and summarize it as somebody who absolutely loves the original Evil Dead series and loved the Ash vs. Evil Dead TV show. I would like to say that I was very pleasantly surprised by this installment in the franchise. I really enjoy how they connected some new original ideas on the way that the Deadites interact and almost the unkillable nature of the new form of Deadite. Um, and I really enjoy how, if you know the lore of the Evil Dead canon and that there are three books, there are three uh, Necronomicon copies, this is a really cool connection. Um, if you look at how the the original Evil Dead deals with the Kandarian demon. The Ash vs. Evil Dead TV show also deals with the uh, Kandarian demon. But the Fede Alvarez Evil Dead dealt with the Taker of Souls demon, which was in that copy of the Necronomicon. And this uh, Evil Dead has a demon called the Marauder. And this is attached to the third copy. And I'll link a video that really does a great breakdown of these timelines. And um, it, it's very cool. I'll put a video in the source, in the description for that. But the way that they linked this Evil Dead to the canon and the way that they kind of put original ideas and callbacks to the original series together was really cool. I was very, very happy with it. Um, I, I really enjoyed the, uh, the family dynamic aspect of this. It, it, it brought a whole new visceral level to Evil Dead, which I didn't think was possible because Evil Dead is pretty visceral in itself. But um, having a family dynamic more than just a friendship, like we had brother-sister dynamic in the 2013 Evil Dead. This one's got sisters and child, like, like uh, offspring in it. So this is even more of a visceral type of, of feeling. Um, it's really cool. I, I like the mixing of different kind of horror genres into this movie where it still very much feels like an Evil Dead movie, but it also feels like an original movie. It doesn't feel like a, uh, a director trying to be another Sam Raimi or another Fede Alvarez. This Lee Cronin is making his own Evil Dead movie. And I really like how he was able to make his own movie, but still respectfully and very creatively call back to the original uh, material. I think this was a really well-balanced film in that respect. I also really like the sound engineering of this movie. Very well done as a blind person even though it was dis uh, put out with described video, which I really, really appreciate. Thank you to the studio for doing that. 
the sound engineering on its own plus the dialogue probably would have made this movie just as watchable, just as enjoyable, had there not been described video. I will say that there might have been maybe a couple of scenes that I would have lost some enjoyment. And of course, knowing exactly what's going on during the the attacks from the Deadites, that's awesome. But it definitely still would have been an enjoyable movie had there not been described video. If I were to give this a rating from 1 to 10 on the watchable for blind people scale, I'm going to say 8.5. Even with the fact that like, if it didn't have audio description, I would give it a 7.5. The, the audio description adds another point to it, but still on its own, even without audio description, this is a solid 7.5 out of 10 on the enjoyable for blind people scale. I highly recommend that whether you're blind or not, if you're a horror movie freak like me, definitely go check out this movie. If you're an evil dead lover like me, you are not going to be upset by this movie. You are going to enjoy this movie. Um, I think you will find it very, very well balanced. And uh, I think you will be very happy with the fact that uh, Rob Taffert, Sam Raimi, and Bruce Campbell signed off on this. I think it's absolutely a very good piece of work. You can tell why they were proud of it. You can tell why they were proud to be producers of it. And I'm very, very happy that I got to see it. And it's very cool because this, the way that it was set up, we very, very well could see a sequel. And it very well could be just as good. So with that in mind, please go check out Evil Dead Rise. I hope you enjoyed this review and uh, I hope you will catch me every night on Twitch at 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you later.